Hello! In this video we're going to look into how to create a corrective shape in a KineFX by setup. I already did a video in the past on how to prepare corrective shapes for object-based bone setup. However, that one will not work in a KineFX setup. So a different approach is needed. Now first let's just take a look at our scene setup. So here we have just a geometry with all the capture attributes. Then we have the skeleton, uh, which will be used to deform the geometry. And the rig pose, which will be used to animate the skeleton. So that's it for the base setup. And the way the corrective shapes are made is that we rotate the skeleton in a position we wish to make the corrective shape, make the corrections on the geometry, and then create an inverse skeleton transformation in order to get the corrective shape, blend shape. And you can do that in a KineFX uh, base setup if you use a point transform matrix attribute, which we transform with the bone deform. So the skeleton transformation that was applied will be stored in that attribute for each point, which means that if we apply the inverse transformation of that matrix on points, we get back to the original position. And if we apply that transformation on points which have um, points edits or correctives applied in a specific pose, we will get a corrective shape in a pose before bone deform was applied. So first we will need to create the matrix attribute and we work in the default shape, so the capture. So this will be the, the point transfer attribute and we can just name it point transform class with point float and we want to work with the type we want it to be transform matrix and we want it to be if size 16 so it's a transformation matrix of four times four and then we want this to be an identity matrix so what we will do is create an attribute triangle that will apply the identity to our transform uh, matrix attribute. And if now just move this a bit here. So now if we use the bone deform and just use the 16 setup, And this will be a corrective shape, let's say, for the elbow. And the other attribute here is point transform. And now, if we transform the points using the rig pose, this attribute will be transformed uh, by the bone deform. So we know what kind of transformation will be applied to each point. So if we now create another rig pose, because we want to pose our skeleton uh, into a pose at which we will create a corrective shape and connect this one to the bone form. So this will be our corrective shape set. So this rig pose will not be animated, but just used to pose the elbow at a position which, at which we will make the corrections. So let's say 90 degrees. And at this pose, we can start creating the corrective shape. So we'll not go into details of creating the perfect shape here, but rather just to show the example.
so let's say that this is our corrective shape so now all we need to do is apply the the inverse transformation of our transform matrix attribute so let's create another attribute triangle So let's first read the point transform from the first input. And the, the reason we are reading this point transform attributes from the bounded form, rather than this edit corrective or this branch of the network, is that here we could apply some operations that would also transform the point transform. And uh, that's why we are reading directly from the bounded form sub, because we want to invert uh, just this transformation and if there will be any kind of transformation here as well uh, we would not get the correct uh, inverse transform so we will read from the boundary form the point t transform from the current point and now we will apply this invert transformation on the current point and this is our inverse skin shape. So here we can now just create another null and let's call this elbow corrective. And this is the inverse shape, which can now be used in a blend shape, for instance. Let's create a quick setup that as well so this one the first input goes to capture and the second input into the corrective shape and we replace the first input on the boundary form with the blend shape so now we can dial in the corrective shape and we should drive this corrective shape with for instance control or this rotate attributes for instance for the elbow so for now like for this example let's just use this rotate x and so this is the paste relative reference and here we use um, we create the corrective shape at 90 degrees so we're going to just divide this by 90 and we want to clamp this for instance in the range from 0 to 1 and now if we test this and rotate we see that this corrective shape has been applied this is without the corrective shape and this is with the corrective shape of course uh, this shape gets triggered a bit too early so we would need uh, an additional blend shape at for instance 45 degrees and create another shape here or we can change how much this shape is dialed in at 45 degrees by simply let's create a simple setup for this as well we could use a simple ramp and say um, dial corrective and we use a ramp float and we will control or should I dial elbow corrective we could have multiple correctives we'll change this expression a bit so we want to remap from zero to one we want to remap and use the ramp parameter in order to control how much this corrective is applied at different stages. So we will read the tile elbow corrective. And we're gonna use this value. And we'll just use the component index of zero. So let's apply this now. So right now it's linear, so there's not much. Uh, difference however if we add the additional parameter let's say at the posi position 
which would be halfway of the formation. And let's test now at 45. And now if we dial this back a bit, and let's create a few keyframes so we can better see what's happening with the deformation when the elbow is animated. Change this a bit further, maybe something like this. And now it works a lot better. So without the corrective shape, this is the deformation. And with a single additional corrective shape, we get this kind of deformation, which is a much better at preserving the volume at the elbow deformation. And this is how we can prepare a corrective shape in a KineFX-based setup. And I hope you found this video useful and see you next time.